show you how to make an awesome transparent watermark for your photos that you can make in PicMonkey and then use in PicMonkey. So to get started, we actually want to use the Create a Collage tool in PicMonkey. So you want to go ahead and click that. Um, default thing is a square. That's great. Um, we're just going to get rid of all but one of these. Um, you can change the size down here. I would do like um, 600 wide. You probably don't need a watermark bigger than that. The next thing I want to do is come to this little color palette and click transparent background. Now this is going to make um, an image that just has a transparent background. Now the next thing that we want to do is click edit and what this is going to do is take us away from the collage editor and take us into the photo editor. Open in the editor. Now, you don't see anything here because remember that square is transparent. Um, so the first thing to do is put something over that square so that we can see it, okay? Um, what I like to do is just grab a big square and anywhere that it's not on the image, you won't be able to see it. So we're gonna make it bigger than that 600 would be. See where it's extending here past the edge? Um, and let's see, let's make it, and we don't want it a lot bigger because we want some other stuff to stick out over it. So let's make it real close to the same size. Okay, um, and let's make it kind of a, a pleasant color to work with maybe. Um, hmm. Thought I found a pretty blue here. Okay, that'll work. And then now that we have this overlay here, we're just going to let it sit there while we work on something, okay? So I would choose maybe um, a pretty overlay for, um, it's, you know, it's not a logo, but a little something cool. Um, you could pick, you know, a real pretty anchor if you like that kind of thing. Or um, you could choose a flower. Um, I wanted to choose, um, let's see. There's blooms. This flower is really pretty. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick this. And I want to make it a pretty good size. Um, if you're doing, um, you may even want to do this twice. One for dark photos and one for light photos. Because if you have a light photo, I would do a black uh, watermark with a good fade on it. Um, maybe like an 80. See how it shows up. And if you're doing um, a dark photo, I would use white. And then, um, see how I'm changing the color over here on the slider? So the dark for light colored photos, white for dark colored photos, because it's just going to show up so much better. Um, so just whatever size you want there. And then uh, maybe some text. And I'm going to go ahead and click this. I'd like to add some text. And here I'm going to just do... And I want to bring this down here, kind of centered. Make it a little bigger to kind of fill the space. And this. And then I want to do the same thing with it. I want to bring it um, to the white and use about an 80% um, there. Let me make sure that this one was also 80%. Sometimes it's hard to click on your um, overlays and text when you've got another overlay being your color. Okay, see that's also 80%. And you could go a little lighter if you want. Um, there, try and match the, the text, make it match about. All right, and then um, if you need to, see how it's hard to grab my text there? It's easier sometimes if you let that extend over then you can kind of grab over here. So the next thing I would do is go ahead and crop this off here. Let's grab the crop tool. And just, and you could start with a rectangle if you wanted. I just wanted to start with a square because it's really easy. Okay, and I'm going to tell it to apply. Then I'm going to grab this overlay and I'm going to delete it. And now all I have left is my watermark. And you can see kind of what it's going to look like on a dark photo, right? Um, it looks really good. You could make it more transparent if you want. I'm just trying 80 to show you. Um, you want to save, and it, it, you do want to save it as the PNG because then you'll get that transparent background. 
Um, and I would do, you know, just name it something because you're going to use this over and over again, right? You want to save it probably to your desktop where you can find it really easy. Um, so save to your computer. Yes, I do want to replace that. Okay, now that that is done, I've got my awesome little watermark going on here. I'm going to open up a picture and use it. So I want to edit a picture. Here's a photo I took um, of my peas out in my garden. Now to put your watermark on it, you click on the overlay button again. And instead of using one of their overlays, you can click on this your own button up here. And then you can upload that watermark that you just made. And then it's going to take just a second because it's a pretty good size file, I think. Hmm. That's being really slow. Let's try that again. Ah, here it is. All right, so we have our watermark, and we want to go ahead and, you know, you can leave it small or make it big. Um, this is a really good size probably for this image. And then your picture is watermarked and people can't use it. Now, if you look, see if I put it up here on this uh, light color, you won't be able to see it. That's why I was suggesting, you know, maybe make a dark one and a light one because uh, it shows up really good down here on the dark photo. So that is how you make and use a watermark in PicMonkey.